good? Good morning. It's Robert and Julia Miller with the J. Patel Group and Rethink Real Estate with another exciting real estate up yeah. update. Episode number 23. Three. Mm -hmm. okay. 23. Moving right we're both along. out of uniform this morning. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go to the uh, Phoenix Home Show at Glendale State Farm Stadium. Yeah. Look for a few items. We're looking at doing some renovations to our home, so we want to see what's available for the projects that we have in mind. We'll keep you updated. First time we've been in a long time, years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't usually go. It's not usually our thing, but because we are looking at doing a couple things, we thought we'd check it out. Yep. We'll looking have to forward wear to masks it. the whole time, excited. I'm sure. But yeah, that's okay. Well. All right, you got a joke for us? I do. Okay. Pull it up here. Why did a woman dump her marketer boyfriend? I don't know. Why did she dump her marketer boyfriend? Lack of engagement. <laughs> yeah. Lack of engagement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have a prayer for you. It's a dog's prayer. Oh. Now I lay me down to sleep. In seconds, I'll have fallen asleep. Oh. My human went to take a pee, and now his bed belongs to me. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> we have a cat like that. Sure. You can't get up for anything. You come back and that cat has got your spot. He does that to your spot specifically on yeah. the couch. Yeah, I guess I create a warmer <laughs> spot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. This week in history, in 2013, Benedict the 16th resigns as Pope, the first to do so in almost 600 years. That's a long time. Do we know why? I I, I think it was health. If I remember right, mm. it was health. Ah, okay. Which is the surprising part to me because they're usually advanced in years, even when they get, you know. Yeah. Elected pope and Way into their I'm surprised 80s and 80s, yeah. over 600 years there wasn't more situations. I guess they just go until they die and mm -hmm. normally. Normally, know, right? So. Okay. Okay. In 2004. March 2nd, the Mars rover Odyssey finds evidence water once existed on the red planet. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of watching Perseverance now. Went for its first ride yesterday mm. on the surface of the moon, and I have not followed up to see what kind of results, if it sent anything back yet. But yeah. they're excited because they found what appears to be river rock. Definitely evidence rounded that there was water. Rocks, yeah. Which means there had to be water to round the edges of those rocks. Yeah, so really interesting. We'll see. We're talking about drilling and these little capsules that they were going to bring back samples in. Yeah, it's crazy how they're going to do that. They, I don't, saw a, they don't want it to be powdered, though. They have to be really careful how it's drilled and mm, they're going to do 40 different samplings. Yeah. And hopefully, they, they hope in some of that they'll get something substantial enough to really look at what the surface of Mars is. Right. Three years, long time for mm -hmm. that project. It's going to be mm -hmm. going on for a while. Yeah. 1983, the finale of MASH airs, setting a record for largest TV audience. I was one of them, that's for sure. I used to watch MASH late night TV. Yeah. <laughs> this one surprised me because I thought this happened in the 1800s. I had no idea. 1931, the Star Spangled Banner is adopted March 3rd as the U.S. National Anthem. It does seem kind of late, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. surprised. I, for some yeah. reason, thought it was way earlier than that. Yeah. 1873, Remington manufactures the first practical typewriters. <laughs> big, you know why, big thing. You know why the letters aren't in order? No. Because when they put them in order, they could go so fast it kept jamming up the keys. Oh. So they mixed them all up. So that it was more difficult. Really? Is that yes, true? <laughs> that's true. I didn't make that one up. Uh, no. Well, you can research we, it. Yeah, out. we all have to learn it, that's for sure. Yeah. And yeah, it's different than what you would think it should be. So if you're wondering where the Republican Party came from, 
1854, about 50 anti-slavery advocates form the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. February 28th. In Wisconsin. And finally, 1770, British soldiers kill five colonists March 4th in Boston, sparking the American Revolutionary War. Yep. Yep. So that's your week in week history. In history. A little bit of economic news. Uh, the House passed the stimulus, as I'm sure everybody in the United States knows, and it's now in the Senate. Senate yeah. And they're going to go back and forth very slowly. Mm -hmm. They're reading every word of all 625 pages of it. Um, kind of make it as difficult as possible. But the plan is to get it passed before unemployment runs out on the 14th. And I'm pretty confident that that's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Consumer spending, consumer spending increased by 2.4% in January as new COVID-19 infections continue to drop. Good. Um, yeah, that's great news that that number mm -hmm. keeps dropping. More yeah. and more people are getting vaccinated. I got vaccinated this week, my mm -hmm. first shot. I young, tried to get young vaccinated. Young lady, we tried to do a plus one, but they said no. You are not in the age bracket, so you, you are can't far do it. too young. We're not. <laughs> oh, we're not doing twenty-nine year olds yet, so you're going to have to mm -hmm. wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, inflation benign. Um, Fed Reserve Chair Jay Powell said the. Uh, central bank would continue to pump money into the economy so they're going to keep uh, uh, buying uh, bonds and uh, mortgage-backed securities, mortgage -backed securities right? yeah. and um, they're confident that any uh, any inflation from stimulus and higher demand will be tempered by unemployment and more spending when the economy reopens so okay. a little bit of good news there that's some good news yeah Okay, on real estate front, uh, we're six year high. This sounds like a broken record, I know, but housing prices across 19 track cities ended 2020 with a year over year increase of 11.4%, led by Phoenix. I was glad to see that. Oh, Phoenix. Right yep. at the top of the list. Mm -hmm. Phoenix, Seattle, and San Diego. The increase was the largest since December of 2014. Prices mm -hmm. in 2020 were largely driven by low mortgage rates and under supply, mm -hmm. again broken record, but uh, even if these pressures abate, demand is expected to persist. Yeah, hopefully um, increase too a little bit because of the virus um, infection rate dropping. People yeah, more people that related. were maybe sitting on the fence are more comfortable mm -hmm. now and they're ready to get back in the game. Yeah. So yeah, we're probably even going to see higher demand. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, rates this week, um, as we mentioned last week, they are ticking up somewhat. Yep. <laughs> uh, fear of fears of inflation, so uh, investors are seeking higher ground with bonds. So 30 year, 3.222. Mm -hmm. Again, historically low, incredibly. Right. It's still very, very, very low. Yeah. Yeah. Great rate. 15 mm -hmm. year, 2.555. And VA is sitting nicely at 2.806. Yeah. Inventory. This is a scary number. It gets scarier <laughs> every week. The mm -hmm. Valley number this morning, 3,309. We've been hovering right at that 4,000 mark. Mm -hmm. And I thought we might tick under to go to like 3,900, maybe even 30. This morning we're at 3,309. 3, I cannot believe it. Yeah. That is the lowest. Really low. Really low. Yeah, we have over 5 million people in this city, and there's 3,300 homes available. Yeah. Peoria, under 100. We knew this was going to happen. They're mm -hmm. at 74. Surprise, wow. not much better. They're under 100 84. now, 84. Wow. Locally, Trilogy. Slim pickings right now. Yep, there's uh, for you weekend shoppers, there's four homes to look at. Uh, price ranging 539500 to $1,095,000. Um, there are a few coming soon, and we also have a few on our radar that are not even in coming soon. That one over a mil, just over a mil, um, 
beautiful home. It's a golf course lot with a pool, huge lot, um, and it overlooks the lake of the golf course at Trilogy, which yeah, it's one of unless those... you've played the golf course there, you may not realize there's a lake. Yeah. Um, and it's it's beautiful. Yeah, so. yeah, that was one of those back in the day. That was a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar lot premium. Yeah, that was the highest charged yeah. lot premium yeah. at the time. So. And they put the I think the biggest house on there. It's a Stellari. I think Stellari or Spiritus. Is it Stellari? It, it has the bar in the center. That's the Spiritus. That's the Spiritus. Yeah. No, 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 that's the Stellari. The Spiritus is by the window. <laughs> towards the back door with a, with a pass-through window. Yeah, that's the one. The that's the one down. they have? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the Spiritus. Spiritus, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Clear anyway, that up. Clear that right up, yeah. <laughs> it's clear as mud. <laughs> okay, in the village, uh, six homes available, over the weekend anyway, 339900 up to $695,000. Yeah. Blackstone Country Club has two homes available, Seven hundred and seventy-nine thousand nine hundred up to one million five hundred and ninety-nine thousand. Mm -hmm. Cordabella has six. They've six. jumped up, okay. Um, but they're all new listings, so I expect they're probably going to go pretty right, quick. Over but the weekend, yeah. The range is three hundred and fifty-nine thousand nine hundred up to eight hundred and forty-nine thousand. And then mm -hmm. finally, Sun City Grand, our massive but active adult community, has a whopping sixteen homes available. Sixteen homes. Uh, they do have one of the little condos, $165,000. That seems to be the price. One bedroom, one bath. Yeah. And they Every time one They're comes cute. up, that's They're the cute price. They're cute button. Just costs so much to get in there. 40, yeah. $4,100 yeah, just in reserve fees, fund reserve fees. funds. Mm -hmm. and, ugh, to the so two expensive. associations, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's a little high as far as that goes, but mm -hmm. it's a really nice little community. It is, yeah, beautiful community. It's within community. Sun City Grand, so you get the amenities at the condo community and also at Sun City right, Grand, right. so. Yeah, a lot to yeah. do there. Yeah. And then the highest price in Sun City Grand is $839,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, a very right. quick recap this week. Yeah. And um, for next week, just a little teaser, we're gonna cover, or Julia's gonna cover some uh, the local new construction landscape here, because we do have uh, two huge new communities coming in um, mm -hmm. with more on the horizon, but Lake Pleasant, Mystic at Lake Pleasant. We've got North Point at Vistantia, um, and then eventually we'll have Saddleback Heights, and uh, it's just gonna keep growing and growing, but we do have some new um, construction going on around here that we wanted to talk to you about a little bit and give you some information on what kind of homes they're offering. Each of them is a little bit different in the type of product that they offer. Um, pricing is going to be quite different depending mm -hmm. on you know what you're looking for. Right. And then with this tight market they're each limiting their offerings in different ways. Some are doing lotteries, some are doing bidding, uh, some are not doing anything at all right now. So we're going to cover right. all of that for you mm -hmm. and kind of give you an idea of what to expect uh, when you call us to help you find a new construction home out in Vistantia. Yeah, we've watched through the amenities at um, Mystic mm -hmm. and uh, we'll do a video for that or we'll have a video That's ready. That's right. To we did a clubhouse that. tour, mm -hmm. so we'll have that available yeah. as well. Are you going to link it in this video? Um, not in this video, probably in the next video. In this so one? Okay, so next yeah. week you'll have that to look forward to as well. There you go. Lots of exciting real mm -hmm. estate information. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody have a fantastic weekend, a blessed week, and mm -hmm. we will see you again. Get out and enjoy the sunshine. Oh, gorgeous day Just out there. Just take your allergy meds. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit windy. But. Bye for now. Take care. You got a joke? Yeah. A funny, a really funny one? Yeah, of course. Okay. They're all funny, especially when I tell them. Okay. <clears throat> um, got a joke, got this week in history, I got rates. Um, okay. Not a whole lot going on, really. Uh, the House of Representatives <laughs> passing, uh, it's passing March 4th in Boston, sparking the American Revolutionary American War. Revolutionary War. Ooh. Ooh. Rates. Rates 3.22, 2.55, 2.15. So high. 
I know, it's still in the store too though. So. Check out that valley inventory. Ugh. Need more homes. Yeah. Well.